Hello, I'm Esther from CREATE at Arizona Science Center. Thank you for joining us for our 1 o'clock demonstration. We're going to be doing LED circuit cards today. Okay, so I have a quick little example right here. So I have already a pre-made card I used and when I press there my little LED card is going to light up. Okay. Cool. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to flip my camera around and show you the tools you will need to create your own circuit card. Okay, so I have paper, I have a push pen, I have a LED, I have a coin cell battery, I have um, copper tape, uh, I have uh, scotch tape, you can use whatever tape you have around, a uh, pair of scissors, um, pencil, uh, color pencils, markers, uh, whatever you'd like to use. You can even uh, glue on stuff later, uh, cut and glue on stuff later. Um, you, and also, if you like, if, if you have cards already laying around the house, you can just modify them to be a circuit card. Okay. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, adjust my uh, camera so you can see how I'm going to be constructing uh, the circuit card. So one moment please. I, I have this set up pretty much how I need to do this and also I want to be able to be sure that I can see any questions anybody has while we're doing this. Okay, I'm gonna mute. Let's mute it. Okay. There we go. I think this is where we need to be at. Okay. So, the first part of this is a circuit. What is a circuit? Okay. Uh, think of a circuit as a pathway. Okay. That electricity moves through. Of course, my, my little um, pathway looks like a circle, a circuit, circle. It's a really great way, okay? Now, I, I opened it up. I don't know if y'all can see. Probably should do marker. But if it's open, it won't work. So I have to make sure it's closed, okay? So on my pre-made one, Right here, that's the the um, legs. I'm just gonna call them the legs of the LED. I have negative and I have positive, and I'll I'll go more into that in a bit. And I have my positive going right there. Uh, the flat side of the coin cell battery is down because that's the positive, and then my negative. When I close this that negative is going to connect and then my circuit is closed. Um, if you can visualize that, it's less of a circle, more of a square when I close the car, but still, it's, it's a completed circuit. Okay. So to make your own, uh, start out with the paper. Okay. And I'm going to fold it. And fold it however you want. Your card can be 
your cord. So you can have it this way when it opens up this way, or you can have it this way. Either way. Okay. I have my blank card. Or you can have your pre-made card. Either way. And I'm going to take my LED. Okay. LED, light emitting diode. Okay. So we're, we're making a circuit. So the power of the battery can go through it to cause the LED to light up. Okay. Uh, LEDs, they have a long leg and a short leg most of the time. Um, that long leg is positive and the short leg is negative. Okay. Uh, I got my coin cell battery. Okay. Uh, flat side's positive. Waffle side, it's the best way I can describe it, is negative. Okay. Um, and I always test my LEDs out before I put them into a project in case uh, the battery is, uh, uh, doesn't have any more juice left or the LED might have a, um, an issue with it. So I test and to test, uh, remember how I said the positive is, is, uh, the long leg. I'm going to take the long leg and put it on the positive side. I'm going to make a sandwich. Um, some people used to call these blinkies. It's a quick little, we've already kind of made a circuit, uh, circuit already because positive and it's going around. Okay. And I'm going to decide where I want to put this on the card. And I think this is where I'm going to put mine. Okay. And I'm going to make probably two little dots. Cool. And I'm going to use a thumbtack or whatever pointy object you have. Just be sure that you're careful. I always use a cork board or if I don't have that, a piece of cardboard. That way it, it's easier to push and push bin through and that way my hand is not on the other side of uh, trying to push the push pin in. I don't want to, you know, accidentally poke myself. So I'm just going to poke that hole. It's easier to do it with the push pin than with the LED. Um, and we're going to put that LED through. Just make it nice and flat. So I got my LED right there. And I want to make sure I remember which which uh, leg is which. So I'm going to put negative here and positive there. Okay. So negative and positive. And then what I'm going to do is make the LED do the splits. So you can see how I have them doing the splits. Cool. Now what I'm going to do is think about where I want to put the battery. Uh, since I'm making a card, you notice in my other one how I left a space. That way if I want to write a little message, I can write a little message. So that's how I build mine. But however you want to do yours will be fine. You just have to think how it's going to make a circuit, how it's, how it's going to move that energy through. So I have my negative here and I have my positive there. Um, I think I'm going to put the battery on right here. I think this is where I'm going to put the battery. So I'm going to just kind of trace out a thing. There we go. Just, you don't necessarily have to do that, but that's how I like to do mine. Okay, so since I know the battery's going to 
be there and I want my puff I'm gonna put the positive side of the battery down if you notice on the coin cell uh, it's a little raised and it has like a bevel around the negative if I put the positive side down it's gonna work a little bit better oh oh uh, what do you mean what would hurt Lisa oh the the push pin yeah yeah that would not be fun um so, yeah, that's why I use the cardboard. It makes it a lot easier when you have a downward motion with a pointy object. Make sure it's pointing into something you you don't want to poke. Okay. Um, so I have my positive. So I'm going to draw a line. I'm just going to draw guidelines. So if I know my positive is going to be there, I might do something more like this. I think I'm actually going to go in with the marker so y'all can see what I did. Oh, the slits? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the LEDs are better at it, but they can only probably do it about once or, 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 uh, or uh, twice. You don't want to bend the legs of the LED back and forth way too much. Okay. So, I drew what I'm going to do for my positive. Now, I want to make sure when the card closes that the negative does not cross over the positive. Otherwise, that will create a short. Um, and the uh, your circuit won't work. Your LED won't light up. Okay. So, I'm going to, for my negative, I'm going to draw a little line. Okay, so there's my, there's my negative, and you notice it's not crossing over. Okay, so I've got my guidelines. <laughs> um, oh, I grabbed the roll that wasn't completely open. So I got my copper tape. Uh, copper foil tape, um, you can order it online. Uh, one of the things I try to make sure in the description is, uh, when, when I'm ordering this, is I try to get copper tape that has the adhesive, the sticky side, also conductive. Uh, just in case you get any rips or tears while you're doing this, because um, if you just cut tiny bits and overlay it and the adhesive isn't conductive, um, your, your circuit won't work. Um, and that's the thing, you, you want this to be conductive. So I try to make sure I get copper tape with conductive adhesive. But I'll also show you a trick to make sure if you, you have one that doesn't do it, uh, doesn't have the conductive adhesive, you can easily solve that. So I'm just going to cut a length. And hopefully y'all can see this. So I have a piece of copper tape cut and I don't peel the tape completely off. It'll, it'll curl up like a ribbon and it'll be really hard to work with. So I'm just peeling the tiniest back. Once in a great while I accidentally fold over that edge. So you just go in with your scissors and snip that. So I have a tiny bit out, okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on the negative side first. And I'm going to make sure to put a little bit of that foil tape there. Okay, and what I'm doing is I'm pushing the tape down and slowly peeling away that backer. Now, the trick that I was going to show you, in case you get tape that is not adhesive on both sides, is we want to make sure the, the top touches itself. Um, and in order to do that, because then the, the, the conductive, conductivity is still maintained, is 
you're going to fold it the opposite direction that you want to go. So we're making, if you do woodworking, you're, you're pretty much making a miter almost. So I'm going to fold it like this. Okay. And then I'm going to fold it back. So we got that. And then I'm just going to slowly start peeling. And if you get off the line you drew yourself, that's fine. I uh, kind of allow the tape to go. I'm just gently pulling that backer tape while pressing down. Yeah. And I didn't want that to go all the way there. <laughs> That was a goof. Um, and actually, I made a mistake, which <laughs> and I might have done that on purpose too. Remember how I said you want to make sure that when it closes, it makes that? So what I'm going to have to do is just when that happens. Pretty sure I have the one that is conductive. There we go. We got that. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to do the one for the positive side. enthusiastic with the copper tape. There we go. So again, make sure you don't peel off too much because it, it curls up. It's really, it's really thin. It's, it's, uh, think of it almost, you know, how aluminum foils can be really thin. Uh, this is even thinner. Okay, there we go. out together if I got the conductive adhesive tape. And if not, we know one of my cards works. <laughs> uh, Some conductive fabric tape it's grayish that's out there and the adhesive on that is always conductive it is a little bit more than the copper foil tape okay so believe I have my circuit that's gonna work and one of the key things I learned is make sure I might actually make that spin just a little bit you want to tape down the LED legs and make sure they're actually um, touching um, the copper tape. Okay. 
Like I said, you can use whatever tape you have around. I happen to have some clear tape. Make sure that wherever you put your tape, that you don't tape over an area that needs to um, conduct. Like, let's say if I had put the tape right there and then closed it, or like right there and closed it, it wouldn't work, okay? Because copper tape's a conductor and scotch tape is actually an insulator. You know, like like wires, the reason why your, your, your power cords are covered is because the wires conduct electricity. You don't want to touch those wires. So the wires are insulated with uh, plastic. Um, a lot of different things are insulators, but in this case, the tape would be considered a insulator. tape down. I'm going to test to make sure. There we go. Oh, I saw it work. Okay. So. Oh, there we go. I think I just need to push those LED legs down a little bit more. Okay. There we go. We got a functioning LED card. Okay, so I'm also going to make sure to tape down my battery. Um, some people will like to use the conductive tape, you know, like fold it over. Um, you can do that. Uh, you can also... You just want to make sure you don't put an insulator type of tape between that and, and your battery. So, got that. And I might need to make a container because I found the tape, but I didn't find my uh, tape dispenser. So, uh, I might uh, think of ways to fix this around the house. Maybe you have like the leftover uh, box of a ceram wrap uh, dispenser. You can use that for your tape and whatnot. And I might just use a little extra of the copper tape just to make sure that we get this on. Okay. Oh wow, that uh, carpet carpet experiment sounds sounds uh, really awesome, Lisa. Okay, so um, let's see. I think y'all saw it working with me, so let's see what I what I shifted. Something moved on me. Make sure I don't need a... Okay, that's where I want it. Okay, I just needed a... Get that in just the right. That's the one thing with troubleshooting these. Sometimes it's just a matter of making sure that the LED is actually... Uh, making contact with 
that point. So just press down with the tape. Really, really nice. Okay. This is that fabric tape I was mentioning. I'm just gonna I was struggling with that other tape. There we go. Okay, so I got a card, but it's kind of, it's a little plain. So I want to, this is the really fun part, is once you have everything done, um, draw something. So I think I'm gonna... Try to freehand... Very old school light bulb. And feel free when you're at home to take a little bit more time with decorating. And if you want to leave a message to your friend when they get the card, they'll know that, wow, well, if you press there, you'll get a light up card. Okay. And I'll, I'll wait another minute or two to see if anybody has any additional, uh, questions. Uh, like I said, in order to do this activity, um, maybe have a, you know, piece of cardboard for later for, uh, marking your holes. Make sure you have a LED battery, uh, some copper tape, uh, any other tape that you have around the house, scotch tape, um, coin cell battery. Um, these were the um, CR2032 batteries, 3 volts. Um, yeah, no, no problem, Dwayne. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, so yeah, little simple LED circuit card. Cool. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm going to turn our camera right back around. So thank you everybody for joining us for this activity. Uh, feel free to uh, leave comments, uh, show images of one that you've made at home, um, or you know ask ask uh, some more troubleshooting questions down the road. Uh, be sure to join us tomorrow for Early Learners Live at 9:30. And another demonstration at one. Again, I'm Esther from Create at Arizona Science Center, and thank you so much for joining us today.